Arguably one of the most impactful developments in storage has been the micro SD card, with capacities of hundreds of gigabytes on a card about the size of your fingernail, they've enabled awesome storage flexibility in tons of small devices that even full-scale home PCs 20 years ago couldn't dream of. But in this age of SATA 3 and PCI Express drives, it is clear that the bottleneck of most storage formats is still one that people want to overcome, and that is speed. And this is especially relevant to micro SD as these small memory cards are becoming increasingly popular as a more primary storage device, uh, such as in a netbook or a smartphone or Raspberry Pi. Well, enter Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, a new format that aims to ultimately replace micro SD. And although they're both about the same size, you know, physically and in terms of capacity right now, UFS promises to be a heck of a lot quicker. Most mainstream microSD cards have sequential read and write speeds below 100 megabytes per second, and even high-end UHS-2 cards have a theoretical cap of 312 megabytes per second one direction, or 156 megabytes per second in full duplex, with most cards being slower than that. UFS, on the other hand, can perform sequential reads at up to 530 megabytes per second, which essentially matches high-end SATA 3 SSDs. Write speeds will be as high as 170 megabytes per second, allowing for better performance when recording 4K video or taking large uncompressed photos, things that are becoming more and more common as feature-rich smartphones decrease in price and become more widespread. And if you're interested in using a UFS card for things other than just storing large files, such as running mobile apps or using it instead of a hard drive in something like a Chromebook, UFS also has vastly improved random performance, uh, which is usually expressed in IOPS, or inputs and outputs per second, which is the most important thing in some ways for everyday all-purpose use, something you can learn more about in this video. So the fastest current gen micro SD cards can get a little over 3000 IOPS and 4K random reads, but UFS cards can do up to 40,000 read and 30,000 write IOPS. That's not quite as fast as a current mid-range SSD, which might get around 70,000 IOPS, but that is still insanely fast for such a small card and several thousand times faster than your typical mechanical hard drive. So not only do these increased speeds mean better performance, they might also give us greater flexibility with regards to app storage options, as many developers haven't allowed their apps to run directly off of micro SD cards due to concerns about responsiveness. And since devs might be more open to having their software run off of USFS cards, you're not going to be as hamstrung by your phone's internal memory, and you might even get, well, more value-optimized choices for your next phone, since manufacturers won't have to maintain SKUs with a bunch of different capacities inside. You can just put in your own storage. Add in the significantly lower power consumption compared to micro SD, which will keep your battery powered up for longer, especially if you're taking pictures or recording videos, and UFS looks set to make our mobile gadgets even more useful than ever before. Though you might have to wait a bit to take advantage of it. Samsung just announced UFS quite recently and the cards haven't quite hit the market yet, not to mention that there aren't any readers for them. However, this might be good news for those looking to buy a Galaxy phone in the near future, especially as Samsung has developed a slot that can accept both micro SD and UFS cards, even though the two formats aren't electrically compatible. But regardless of your device of choice, keep an eye out for UFS cards soon, because nothing could be worse than your micro SD card depleting your battery while you're in the middle of playing Pokemon Go. Could anything be worse than that? No, it could not. Speaking of things that couldn't be worse, does your job suck? Are you bored? 
With a Lynda.com membership, you can watch and learn from top experts who are passionate about teaching. Whether you're trying to take your career or your hobby to the next level, they've got thousands of video courses with more being added all the time that let you learn on your own schedule and at your own pace on all kinds of great subjects, whether it's business, uh, office applications, Photoshop, photography, video editing. Go and check it out because the tools that they provide are extremely easy to use. You can download the videos for offline access on your iOS or Android device. You can skim along in the course transcript so you can skip back to points in the video that you didn't quite understand or that were particularly interesting to you. And you can create and save playlists of courses that you want to watch to customize your learning path or to share with friends and colleagues and team members. So your Lynda.com membership is waiting for you at the link in the video description. And if you're not sure if Linda's right for you, try out the free 10 day trial down there. After 10 days of all you can eat access, you go, yeah, I really love this. Plans start at just 25 bucks a month. So again, check it out at the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Check out our other channels. Comment with video suggestions below. And don't forget to subscribe for more fast as possibles just like this one.